Hello, Internet. Okay. Um, welcome to <laughs> the Dust of Chaos right now. We're deep in 2023 planning, trying to figure everything out in life. Um, but I thought I would talk about business goals, how I approach it. Maybe this is valuable to you. Maybe not. A lot of this is going to be just like stream of consciousness. But I am a huge goal person. I'm a huge notebook person. I, I love productivity software, productivity systems. So this is my time to thrive. <laughs> I don't look like I'm thriving right now, but I swear I'm thriving inside internally. And I've got my planners. I've got all the things. And I am mapping out the year. So... I thought I would talk about my process, talk about, and then just probably brain dump like the future of my business for the year and what my plans are, even though I'm still in the thick of trying to figure everything out. But let's begin. So like for a long time, I set yearly goals that were very based on really, really hard, rigid yearly goals. I'm going to hit X amount of revenue. I'm going to have X amount of like YouTube followers so many things whatever and I'm trying to let that go a little bit because one a year is incredibly hard to plan <laughs> for what on earth like in six months my life will be completely different so it's hard to be like set and maybe you're a person who needs like rigid goals I'm just not in a place in my life and time where I want to set yearly rigid goals so right now I am setting yearly themes and then I set quarterly goals and I get really, really focused on the quarter and the next three months ahead because I feel like that's all I can plan for at any given moment in time. So, for me, but that's basically if you want like the TLDR of my entire system, yearly theme. I have a few, I have goals that are more personal, like that are a little more rigid, but I don't really do rigid business goals because, like I said, things change. But, um... So for me, yearly themes, there's like mainly a few things like, number one, I want to build a much more remote focused kind of life. Um, the plan for this year is to kind of like end my lease, travel and work and like travel and work. So I need to make my life extremely streamlined in order to be able to do that. Um, you know, I need to have a lot of systems and things set in place so like <clears throat> I can take days to travel or explore or like do whatever and it doesn't really impact my business as much. So building a super, super remote focused business and lifestyle is like top priority. No matter what happens, you know, no matter what else falls apart in my life, like just being able to like have that even if I end up like I don't know signing a lease or whatever like just having the option to be like I'm gonna get in my car and go work from like the mountains for a week and it's no big deal so I'm making a whole checklist of things I need for that like I need <clears throat> to be ahead with content I need to have like support on the back end so like if I'm not around like emails are being answered um I need clients who aren't needy which I don't really have right now. Like I really don't have any needy clients because I've kind of like cut the fat on that throughout the years. But, um, you know, making sure I don't bring down clients who want like weekly phone calls or something where I have to be much more plugged in than I want to be. Um, so that's like one of the themes. And then another theme is kind of like being a little, well, it's like a two-pronged approach for the rest of it. One, I've just accepted that the most money I make is from client work. It just is. It's 80% of my income. No matter how many courses I release, how many YouTube videos I made, all of that. Like, working with clients who have money is, it's the bread and butter. So, I have accepted this fact. And not that I'm not going to not make content. Because I really want to make content in, like, other arenas and other things and, like little like niche blogs and other things that I'm doing but for like a while I was really trying to work on like reducing client work to the point where like I almost don't have any client work and like that's just that's just not gonna happen because 
boy, is that money nice, you know, like, and I just, I want the cash to build the remote lifestyle, see what I mean, to see how these all flow together, but, um, so those are like my themes, right? Like, okay, except the client work is not going away. So like, maybe I need more clients. Maybe I need to upgrade some clients. Maybe I need clients who pay me more. Maybe I need more retainers, like just building up that, you know, if you have my ebook on 30 days to a full pipeline, that's exactly what that is. Just putting more clients in the pipeline and like to uh, work with. And then same time, just like absolutely insane, prolific amounts of content. Now that does not mean necessarily this channel that does not necessarily mean um anything under my copywriting kind of brand but it could it could i'm still feeling that out if we're being honest like i feel like i've said everything i need to say about copywriting and moving forward i will probably have like a video or two a month on like the copywriting topics but um the content's gonna be changing a bit and it's going to be a little more business, a little more like social media marketing. It's going to be marketing in general, um, business things, um, sales funnels, like a little more outside of copy. I feel like I've said everything I need to say, right? Like I feel, I feel like I've covered it. Mine is like a few videos here and there, or like new things coming up, like I have, um, one of my next videos, I'm going to talk about like AI and copywriting and like, what are my thoughts? Test it out. Like, how do I feel? And spoilers, like a lot of y'all are in trouble, <laughs> but, um, you know, outside of that, uh, yeah. So business E kind of content, a little less copywriting content. I don't know what that means moving forward fully, which is thus the giant worksheets and the notebooks and all the stickers and the like post-its all over everything to like figure it out but um yeah I do want to make a lot more content but like I said I have some other areas and industries and websites and other things I own that like I would really really like to like get those going in a way um so I can do other things besides write for my entirety of my life um yeah, so if you're here for copywriting, I'm so sorry. Um, there will probably be a lot less of that lately, but I just want to make videos again and talk about business things and talk about content and content writing and emails and all the things. And then hopefully some of you guys stick around, but if not, like, that's okay. I'm really glad I helped you so far on, like, whatever your journey and your path was. Like, I'm so glad I was a part of it, but I'm not upset about it. I have unfollowed a million content creators in my life where I was like, okay, I learned everything I needed to know from like this person. Thank you so much. So, you know, if that's it, that's, it'd be like that. <laughs> it should be like that. Oh, this lighting. Oof. 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 Botox this year. Um, <laughs> I always made jokes about that, but please know, like, I'm not. It's funny, guys. I really, I don't. I'm, I'm probably never going to get a facelift. I'm just on a side tangent. Um, I really don't care. I really, aging does not really bother me that much. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, the second I'm like more than like 30% gray, it's getting, it's getting dyed, but that's an easy, anyway, side tangent, just thoughts on aging and how it impacts women is like so weird. Some people really take it like, and you know what? That's fine. If you're terrified of aging it'd be like that but <laughs> I make jokes about my forehead wrinkles but like man I have earned these there have been a lot of copywriting social media branding college years that went into <laughs> earning every single last line on there a lot of thinking so I'm not upset about it but Anyway, great. So any so specific goals um, <clears throat> that really for me right now, and it may change in time, but like breaks down to like producing X amount of content per week. Like I need to get on a nice little content schedule. You know, you guys may see me a lot more, or I may say forget it and like I'm done talking about business. We'll see. I'm probably not. I do like business, and it's always gonna be a part of my life. But um. producing a lot of content. 
I'm thinking deeply about like horses and what I would want to mate for a horse because I'm kind of going through a like I don't want to mate any more copywriting content phase so like I was thinking like a business horse like okay set up your entire copywriting business in like a month maybe you know get everything done did the workflows set up the software set up your like funnels I don't know if I want to do that though I haven't fully decided um Oh, with that being said, like there's also, I, I don't think I'm going to offer power hours again. I don't think I'm going to do mentorship ever again. Um, I will probably maybe do power hours here and there. Like when I just feel like in a social mood and want to like <laughs> connect with people. But I do have my free um, Facebook and Discord group. So like you should join those. Just I, I'm usually active in there and like answering questions and doing like... And the communities are solid, so. Um, I mean, Facebook's a little quiet, but like, also that's probably my fault because I don't go on Facebook as much as Discord. So, between the two, if you want your questions answered fast, Discord. Um, but, yeah. Outside of just making content, along with my like, own personal goals, like fitness and stuff related, like, I think just making content would be, for me, the best place to start, to slowly but surely narrow it down kind of like what content I want to make what courses do I want to make just like I have other business ideas I kind of want to roll with this year you know what I mean like so just double down on getting client oh and oh my god I would love if I could get like two more clients at the same level that like my main client is right now oh my god I would change my name and disappear I would just take that money and run I would just you would never hear from me again <laughs> I'm kidding, kind of. Am I kidding? I don't know. Like I said, remote year, I may just disappear into like the woods, you know, and like that would be sick content though. Can you imagine just like writing from a cabin in the woods? Anyway, that is what I do. So if you're like startling to set like themes and goals and all the specifics of all the things that people want you to do, some years are specific number years and some years are theme years and this year is a theme year for me where I want to focus on themes versus like oh I'm gonna I'm gonna hit 50k in revenue by like quarter one like okay I'd rather just focus on like doing things that actually are fun and enjoyable and then usually the money comes when you do that um yeah I think that's pretty much it. Happy New Year. <laughs> Sorry, the energy's a little... I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired. Um, <laughs> I took it all last week off, and, like, I'm trying to take this week off, too, because I don't have any client work. All of my clients are gone for now. Like, they're like, okay, we'll be back, like, second week in January, and I'm like, cool. And now I'm like, oh, my God, that means I have nothing to do. <laughs> nothing to do. So thus the <laughs> planner spiral. Thus the, you know organize my life clean my health energy um that's pretty much it guys happy new year thank you for being here thank you for tolerating whatever it is but i am gonna get a nice little filming area which is why i have this whole new oh look at the lights wow a whole new desk so i can film like actual real content in one place so that's it what are your goals for the new year i'd love to know because i just i love like i said this is my if i did just talk about productivity and planners all day every day That'd be a good time for me. All right, that's it. Bye, guys. <laughs>